beauties, welcome to my channel. My name is Alex, if you're new here, I am a culture for MBE who loves to play with makeup. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today's video is a three look video of using the Ibn New York Secret of the Pharaoh Cleopatra's Love. Mm. Uh, henceforth, there is a review. Just to let you guys know if you want to see what there's an else, but you want to see how I come up with the other looks because this is the third look that I did. Which, oh. mm. so if you want to see the two other looks, all the looks I created, make sure you watch. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. And don't forget, make sure you get something to drink, have something to snack, and everything else because it's a very long video. So guys, see you later. So we're gonna try out some more colors. This will be the first look and everything else. So yes. So we're just gonna play with some new brushes that I got from Live Glam. I will be doing a video. So we're gonna do a Valentine's look with all this palette. Um, it's the Even New York Se Secret of the Fair Eyeshadow Palette from Cleopatra's Love, which I love Egyptian mythology, I love Egyptian history. Um, so we're just going to have a little fun. Um, I already did my eyeshadow base. I used Milani um, Eye Primer and also used NYX Cream in White Eyeshadow Base one. And I decided, you know, let's use it. So we're going to be using. Oh, maybe a few shades, but definitely going to be a pink and purple look with this. So we're just going to have fun and see what we can come up with. So we'll be doing, yeah. So the first color I'm going to use Sorel. It's this shade right here. Oops. To just to start it as a transition shade. Oh, this is very pigmented. This is a really nice shade. This is a nice shade color. So I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me put you up a little closer, a little closer. I'll uh, see if I can. So this is more like a transition shade. I'm using a flat not a flat brush, it's a buffer brush. Buffer brush. It's a crease brush. Help with the creases. We're just gonna use this as a crease. Use this as a transition shade. I'm not really packing this up, but this is a, it has a very nice, um, It has a very nice uh, pigment to it, which I do like. We're actually going to use Ven Venus right here. Venus, Venus right here. So, just to go into the. Cr I'm using this in the outer V. This is a really nice, pretty color. I really, really like this. So, I will do. I don't know this because Ooh, this is really pigmented. I like this. I'm just using this. I I really don't have these colors in my collection, but now I do. I'm just keep Adding it up. I am gonna darken up that shade, but to help it blend out a little bit. And I'm just gonna go back to those two shades. Like I said, I am gonna use those three new brushes that I got from I am going to go for is Cuban, Cuban, and I'm just gonna put it a little bit right here, 
as you can see I'm just putting it right here because I do want to show a different color it's not just all mixed and everything because I feel like that would I just want this I'm just seeing how this eye base is gonna work because I usually don't really pair two eye bases together but how does this look is really pretty now I really do like this one it's not really pink tone I thought it was gonna be more pink tone but I'm fine with that really I want no back to those shades right here I'm using a number two 102 brush it's their crease brush I think it's called it's, it's really it's really soft I really do like that so I am kind of using the brushes let me see yes it is an angle eyeshadow brush so it's good for adding yeah 102 is an angle brush is ideal for applying your favorite hues to your crease and corners I really do like that now, uh, we're gonna use hang on we're gonna use Alexander which we'll see Ooh, that brush is really packing that color and beautiful oh that's a pretty purple I like that and as you can see I'm not really adding too much of the other because I really want that shade Venus to show up a little bit more more than just yeah I really like how this is showing I really want to add another color but I don't know yet these colors are really blending really good together it's my first time trying out this brand and also this eyeshadow palette so I'm gonna go a little bit into and see if I can fade it into that and I did get this on Amazon and of course I will put the link down below I want to add back to that sh color that we didn't like these shades are pretty nice and I do like that and I want to and I'm going to use Caesar or Caesar of course Caesar was the love interest of Cleopatra Caesar is this shade right here Ooh, this shade is really pigmented. But, okay, this is a number 143 brush. This is supposed to be 143 is a stiff brow no eyeshadow brush. So it's supposed to help with the smoky. Like I said, I just want this to be a little a little bit darker. Because I'm in that still in that smoky. But I will do some full looks. Okay. I feel like I need to go back to Sorrel. Just to. I'm using a Morphe M33. 322 brush. I really like this brush. I got this last month. So. So for the eyeshadow base, I am going with a nice, I don't know yet. We're gonna use this from NYX as I'm using the strawberry milk one. And this is actually one of my mm, pretty, oh, that's really pretty. And I am going to try out just with the eyeshadow brush from NYX. I mean, Milani, we'll see. And then I'm gonna actually use this flat brush. It's the 100 over brush. 
so it's good to add to what it looks like. So pretty. Yeah, you know, I feel like since we have this, I'm going to use Hathor. Hathor is actually an Egyptian goddess. If I remember correctly. I, um, she's a goddess. I'm trying to think. <sighs> what goddess? I know Basset. I know Ra. I know Isis, Anubis, Osiris. I think Hathor is one of the goddesses that is just um, one of the goddesses that people really don't know. But we're just going to put this on top, basically, because it gives that that nice deposition and that, sh ooh, that shimmer man with that shade, strawberry milk, ooh, we it does give it a nice, I really like, really, really like this. I like to do three looks anyway because it gives people more a variety, variety of what this palette can do. And I really, really already like this palette, so I'm definitely going to be trying out the darker colors. I'm definitely going to try out see if I can do a really nice, simple look. I like how Strawberry Milk adds that more pinky. This looks like a duochrome, to be honest, because I haven't watched these. Oh, that is so pretty. Yeah, I think this is more of like a, oh no, it looks like it's pink in one area and it looks like a gold. I really like that shade. I really don't have this shade. I'm glad I got it. I'm definitely going to try more of the product. I do have another product. From this more of a blue base palette and yeah okay i do like it how you like this one okay i really don't have a pink i do have a pink eyeliner or brown eyeliner i don't know what i'm going to use pink eyeliner i really don't want to go yeah i need to get some pink eyeliner um I'm going to use brown on this because I don't want it go too dark. And I'm using, this isn't all, I don't know what this brand It's called Hondani Van, Hondani Van, Eyeliner Long Lasting Professional. It's in number six. You can get this on Amazon. You can get this anywhere, I guess. Because it was on a mystery box that I got from a brand that I want to try. It's a nice brand brown it has a nice smell to it it's weird to have eyeliner smells okay I think I got it because I can't really tell do it what fits your eye and everything else and from mascara I really is the Elf Lash It Loud. This is actually my favorite one from Elf. Um, they came out with new other ones, which I will have to check them out. I'm definitely have to check out their new knit collection. Let that dry. That's really pretty. Um, I don't do fake lashes, so if you want to do fake, la fake eyelashes, you could. Um, I just feel like, I just feel like it. Yeah, that's okay. So I'm going to finish up this look and give you the finished look. And I'll be back with, let me show you. So this is the finished look. I really like this color palette and everything else. I think this is really gorgeous. I like the highlight that it, mm. and another base product that I use. But I really do like this look. I think it's really pretty and everything else. I did add that purple shade we use on the outer V first. It was Caesar. No, not Caesar. Alexander. And I used that and I used the NYX um, Epic Wear Liner Stick in Pink Spirit and the Waterline. And of course, I finished up 
with my makeup. I did use this Lip B from Live Glam. I am doing lip swatches soon after this and I'm just ecstatic with this look. So, yeah. So, I do like this video. I like this look, I mean. I really do like this look. So, well, you like this look? And let's go for number two. So this is number two look. I am so excited. Um, this is number two, but this is my second time of recreating this look, or creating this look because the, the when I did it for me it was yesterday. Uh, I kept looking down, and I did not do a good job of showing you the products or anything like that. Yeah. So. So this might be, it might be a little bit late, but you know what? Better late than never, right? Okay, we're gonna use um, Anthony. She, he was another lover of of Cleopatra, and uh, he apparently died of suicide because he thought Cleopatra killed herself, which was not the case. There's so much history going on in that. That was so much, like, if you want to know the history of Cleopatra, oh my gosh. The eyeshadow primer I'm going to use, Milani. I'm trying to use this up because I have so much and I need to use it up before I buy any more. So my eyebrows are a little bit different because eyebrows are different. So, yeah. So we're going to use this right here, right like there. A look up there we go it will look like that and we're gonna drag it out right into the crease but yeah like Cleopatra is one of those women that I love like she was very powerful but a lot of people in the history like they said oh she no she was very smart she was very smart, like scary smart. And she was the last pharaoh, the last queen of Egypt, which that's because of Julius Caesar's nephew, Octavius. It's funny how that history is so weird. That history over there for Egyptian, well, I say Roman, it's kind of uh, one of those things that uh, like, I don't know. It's just one of those things. So, as you can see, it's a very good brown. Um, like how they didn't want a emperor, but Julius Caesar's nephew did become an emperor. But it's so funny how the Romans took everybody's religion, made it their own. Because they're quite similar from the Greeks. Okay, I'm going to use this as a blending. Um, they took a lot of from Greek and um, Egyptians' mythology, their gods and their religion. Even though <laughs> they were soon to have their own religion, Christianity. That's here and there. I am a Christian so but um like I love Egyptian mythology um so I love um like the history of it and there's so much history that it's still there and this is like when he's Juba the second and put it right in here on top of that crease that we did but yeah I love history I love Egyptian history I like Greek I like Egyptian history and Egyptian mythology better than I like any kind of religion uh, any mythology like um it's gonna put this on top of that so 
hopefully the first look it was really blown out and I, I'm not used to that of kind of looks and it's something I'm just like eh. but it was out of my comfort zone which I do like so I'm just gonna put this like these shades are really pigmented like I, I give them that okay, I'm gonna put it now I did put it under here but I'm gonna wait because last time I did not wait and I completely went out of my comfort zone on that and I did not like it so I'm just gonna go what I normally do but yeah and then we're gonna use Caesar um I think it was yeah it was Caesar I'm trying to think of what I did as I dropped my brush I'm gonna use Caesar Caesar is this purpley maroon color which I love which I'm gonna put it right here underneath like my eyes are keeps watering so it's so weird I don't know what is going on but it's like a size mirror so I think it's travel friendly But we are going to make this a little bit more purple. But I'm going to... I like... As you can tell, I like really... I'm going to go a little bit out here to make that a little bit more of like a purple. I thought it was be more of a purple and pink but I I do like it so I'm definitely going to get more of these palettes I do have another one this is like a blue palette but it's not this size of a palette so this is cruel to free so for what I like about it, it stays on um pretty good so and when I when I would clean this up um I'm just gonna clean it up. We are gonna add a little bit more of a purple to that. We're gonna use Alexander. Now, if I correctly remember, Alexander the Gray used to be Octavius. And Octavius used to was ah Julius Caesar's nephew. And Alexander is also a name, is another name for Alexandra or Alexandria. Yeah. Oh, it also means defender of man. So we're going to add more of a purple. Like I said, my eyes are watering a little bit, so I'm not going to complain about how this eyeshadow is compared to that because I don't, you know, I'm not going to say anything. And I really like how this, these shadows it's not that much fallout, which fallout or kickback. It's like, it's a very little, but if you dig in a lot, yeah, I don't tend to dig. I don't feel like you should dig into your palettes. Like I said, it's actually just going to give me a gut line, I don't know. So we're just going to fade into that and I want to go back to Caesar. Now we're gonna use glitter glue because when it comes to, I use glitter glue because I find it easier just to do it that way and not use just, hey, you know, but, um, you can use anything you wanna use. You don't have to use glitter glue, but I like to use glitter glue with, um, with this. Um, a lot of people do this. It's gonna be like a cut crease. But I'm not like Celine. This Celine is such a pretty color. Like I was already used to the shade, but it's such a pretty look. Like.
It's like one of these purples that I would constantly use because I really love purple. Like purples are like my favorite colors. You got like purple, you got blue eyes. Like purple is one of those colors that works anybody's eye color. Um, I think purple is one of the colors are such a beautiful color that it can work on anybody's skin tone. And I still hold that. A lot of people might disagree with me, but oh, like purples with eyeshadow, depending on what um what you're pairing it with, might be a little bit different. But but this one does have a little bit of fallout, but it's not too bad. So yeah, look at that. Just such a pretty look. Oh my gosh. I don't really like how this came up. I'm... Like I said, did not really stain my eyes or anything like that, but oh my gosh. Okay, so I'll be right back with the finished look and I will tell you what, what else I did and everything else. So yeah, be right back. So this is the finished look. I really like this look. This is, even though this is my second time, I still like it. I'm such a purple fan, it's not any funny. Um, I paired it up with an elf, um, elf, hang on. It just disappeared. I think it's like to just appear on me. I use um the Tela Deluxe Ultra Fun Lip Liner in Burgundy. This is actually my favorite formulas and favorite brand right now. Um, these are really good. You can get these on Amazon, and I highly recommend them. Um, I also paired it with the Elf um lippy stick called Berry Shor Sherbert. I have not used this in a quite some time, and I said, you know what? Let's pair it up with this. On the moisturizing lip and everything else because you know, yeah. So for eyeliner, I used a Tarte uh, Tardius um, Duo. It's in black. It's liquid and eyeliner. Um, the eyeliner I really don't use as much because to tell the truth, it's broken. Um. A little bit waxy I think this is because it's I don't know and then I used the liquid side for doing the eyeliner I did a nice simple eye look. I don't know if you can really see it but that's what I come up with I feel like I might as well get dramatic and just see how that works <laughs> and then I used the colors though so I used the brown um, let me see I use Anthony Duba and Alexander. I really enjoy this palette still. Um, I'm definitely gonna do a simple look. Don't worry. Um, I'm not gonna go so much dramatic because I do want to make this makeup to be beginner friendly and everything else. Um, even though some of it is not beginner friendly, friendly. But if you want me to, you know, do a, a tutorial of what I do with my smoky eyes, just let me let count comment down below um but yeah these I've been liking this palette so far the big the pigmentation is absolutely there so we will see what I feel about the review and everything else so at the end at the third look so yeah here comes look number three now, number three and it's the last one so, so I have a nice uh, kid who likes to interrupt things right now, and he's laughing. He thinks I'm kidding. Um, so decided. Really didn't know what to do. I don't know if I want to use Octavia or August. August. I decided, you know what, for Instagram or Saturday or Sunday, wherever I'm posting that video, uh, post a reel or something. 
Um, I might use Octavia or August. I don't know for whatever shadow I'm not gonna use the shimmer I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use whatever shadow. So I feel like I'm gonna use August. Just why not, right? Why not? You know. So I'm gonna use Sorel. Just a transition shade as always. So we're just gonna put it right here. And I don't know if the I think this is gonna be one of those things that we're just gonna see. Like like I said, this is I know how you, you're like, Alex, I can't really see. Like I know I need to have a better camera. Yeah, I'm not gonna bear y'all. I probably just edited it out. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it right here. I'm just using a buffer brush because I do need to clean up my brushes. And for me tomorrow, not be might be one of my chores. I might be placing some makeup after I get back of helping a friend out and everything else. So I'm just dock setting basically. Like I said, I'm going really quite simple in this look. I'm not going to go too much like I've done the last two looks. For me, three looks or two looks, I don't know. So we're just going to go and keep buffing this out. I'm going to use Venus because I'm going, I think I'm just going to go with Octavia on, on the Instagram thing. So yeah, so I'm going to use Venus. Venus, is, of course, is this shade right here. Like, such a good pigment too. So, we just gonna lightly just put it over here. Possible, yeah. Like, like I said, these are really good, vulnerable shades. And I really do how like these shades work together. Like, like I'm just gonna. I'm just using, I want to use three shades, hopefully. It's quite simple. And just see if I can make this an everyday look. I don't know. Ooh, okay. I know what I'm, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm thinking. I don't know. You know what you think. You don't know. So, yeah. I really enjoy this palette. Um. I'm glad I can tell you little stories and little information about the Egyptians because I really like that. So I'm going back to Soel. It's August right here. So, like I said, I just want to see. I'm definitely going to get more palettes from them. Okay. I don't know if you can really see that. But I really like how that color works. Like, I thought it was going to be a darker than from the pans and then the outside on the lid. But, you know what? <clears throat> it's done by me. How this looks. And it's really pretty. I really have like, oh, you can really, you can actually see it in, in the camera. Okay. On camera, it looks a little bit, just like, really looks pink. See, I can find it. But I think as you pack it on more and more, I think it's gonna get darker. But that's really pretty. I like how these two colors work together. I really like how Venus and so I'll work together to make this another shade. And sometimes I'm just gonna like The shimmer is not really like a high strong shimmer, like if you put glitter glue on it and everything else. So, like it could be a topper and everything. So that could work too. And I'm thinking just for fun, I'm gonna put this right over here. And of course I'm gonna go back to Oh, no brushes are missing. Okay. I'm gonna go to Soel again and just come like that's the key of eyeshadow. You gotta keep on blending to see what works best for you. 
And I thought, just, you know what? I'm gonna use Hathor. So Hathor is gonna be in the twins got bored. I'm gonna put it right over here. Like just have a nice, like this is a pretty shade as an everyday one. This one, oh, this is actually like, like this is actually my favorite shade of this palette. Like I really enjoy how this is such a duochrome. And it works so beautiful. All these shades, like, it's a nice little sunset. Like, this is a good sunset palette, too, if you want to do sunset looks. But, I don't know if you can really see that. You can. But I really like how that pink shade, it turns to a gold shift. It has, it's a pink shade, but it has a gold shift to it. And I think that's so pretty. I'm gonna put some. I'm actually gonna put it over here. Because I haven't not done an eyebrow highlight, and I really don't do eyebrow highlight. So rare, so rare, so rare that I did. But I really like that. So, quick and easy, as you can tell. So, yeah, as this palette, I'm gonna give you. And then see what I feel, and yeah, this is the finished look. I really like this, really like how it came up with this. Quite simple, not the ones I've done. It's not, it's not smoky, it's nice and simple. An everyday wear to me, it's an everyday wear. I really, really enjoyed this palette. Um, for lippy, I used live glam in the shade. And also pair it up with um let's kiss they got the other one and i paired up with the nyx suede matte lip liner in beijing uh didn't really do much but really like how the form is but yeah it's really nice so like this this spring i really really enjoy this i'm i'm fascinated with this i'm gonna use one shade and that is octavia and i know what i'm gonna do with this one i'm actually just gonna go with the brown shades with a little purple and just use it i already want to know what i'm gonna do for instagram because i'm gonna do a little snippet on instagram so yeah so guys Ah, uh, there is a review up because I already put it up and I did it because since, since I already know how this formula works and everything, I just like, yeah, I, I need to do one last look just for, for the fun of it and for this video and I did a review of it and so you'll get to see that up and all quick and easy. If you want to, don't want to watch that, you just just want to see what or you just want to look at the video so I'm, i hate when i have cat hair um i would just say this is a good palette like i'm glad i spent money on this and i do have an amazon 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 link for this palette and i will link it of course i will link it down below but yeah i really enjoy these shades and my favorite shade of using all of these now uh is Hathor. I really like it's a pink but also a gold shift to it. I think that's a beautiful you can pair it up with anything out of that. You can just use it, just use two shades, so L and Hathor together. Ooh, beautiful. I think that will work beautifully. Um, but yeah, so the, the only one shade I didn't use is Octavia, and I'm just ecstatic to try use that one. And for the very first time, I actually used all the shades of the palette. And I actually did a good job, I think. Yeah. So guys, if you do want to see more videos like this, like more looks of a video of a palette, hit the like button. Of course, you want to be part of the Makeup Addict family where you're welcome. This is a judgment and drama 
free zone. We don't put up with that. And of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified of any new videos that I upload. So, guys, I love you. I hope we have. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you're at. And God bless.